So hello, I'm going to do some proof structures here similar to this model. So uh, I need to place first tuck frame planks to be able to work with tuck frame tools. So I'll use this material and uh, this my origin point. I rotate slightly and I'll use socket layer for my planks and then add the new one. Uh, this is about not exact, but like that and then uh, I'll go to let's go to the f or actually I will add the other one uh, here and now I'm going to use the other corner and then add uh, from here to here and then I will need uh, the third piece and let's make it slightly bigger let's say uh, it's 100 millimeters and 300 millimeters high and I have that top left anchor point and I'll use this point to add it okay so not exact uh, but about so now I'm I have three pieces that I can connect together so I'll hide this one and then I will connect these together uh, there are many ways. Uh, first one is to use adjust to side and for that I pick the part where I'm going to adjust to and then the target piece is with zero gap and here let's put these uh, like this so that we don't that there will not be any small remainders. So it will be like this. And if I undo that, I'll show you another way to do it. So this is very nice. Uh, you can, uh, I'll just reset that tool. Okay, I can show a plane from 3D. So for example, this side, I pick, pick this side of the plank. Then I select the target piece. And uh, usually the drawing plates, they're pointing outside from the piece. So that's why I select this below drumming plane okay that's it and then let's say if we needed to add more uh, cuts here i'll lower this slightly so let's level this i'll put it 100 millimeters lower so it will be to 87 like this and then let's suppose we want to make another cut uh, cut this top away so then we will pick another plane remove selection and pick plane from top of this and then select the target piece and now it is important we don't want to remove the existing one but uh, instead we select this one which will uh, not extend the plank to cover all this plane touching point to the plane and then we want to take all above the drawing plane or actually below because from here we can see that z is minus one so it is the drawing plane was pointing down in this case so now we have a nice two cuts here in this this place okay let's see some other cases so uh, how to make this side cut here i'll first add a piece and uh, uh, let's use uh, something that could be used as a top plate uh, for example this one and in this case i believe this is the right anchor point and then i'm going to set the tilt to zero but rotation to 90 degrees and i'm trying to add this following following if this was arc frame plank then i'd have a nice uh, uh, hotspot there so I could I could easily place this exact now it is about so I'll again I'll hide hide this one and here we have a uh, well it doesn't show too well but they, they are intersecting so we want to make a groove for for this uh, by this piece to this piece so I'll open the groove tool and actually I have two options I, I could use this one or then I will use the extended one so that I can edit the settings after creating the machining the, this with this extended one which opens if you control click uh, press control from keyboard while clicking this you will get this extended one 
So I pick this as my target piece and then this is my cutting piece and I'll just check this with this tool. So the rotation angle is 90 degrees and that is important so that we know uh, to which side is pointing down. I believe it is the left side because if this was uh, not rotated uh, we would see the left side here but now the left side is pointing down so I believe it is left side now uh, if you get this wrong then you just need to swap the left and right and I need to check this R to be able to set zero oversize to the right hand side side so we specify one meter here to be sure that everything is cut away uh, downwards from this top plate so just in case I pick the female part again and then uh, set the oversize is zero to every other but the left should be one meter and then I'll click do new okay it, it was correct this way but uh, uh, just for an example I'll show how to edit this so this is or I, I can take the cutting piece uh, if in case if you had many planks to cut then it's good to take the cutting piece. And then I select this machining and I edit this uh, oversized to zero. So you will see the result if it was zero. This is not what, what we wanted. So I can just, I will just undo that. Okay, so that was about uh, these roof pieces. Uh, let's see some other cases we may have here. Uh, okay, this single object, it's a bit difficult to see this. Well, here, here, here is similar cut and this was, this could be cut with an angle, so nothing special here, but maybe we could try to work with this, to place this, this kind of pieces. So for, for that, I'll actually, I'll create a wall and let's place this kind of uh, supporting piece. So I'll open the element tools. I'll use just any any uh, any of these types. And in this case, I'm not going to have any windows, so I can I can make place an element without having an ArchiCAD wall. So 2.5 meters high, uh, and the rest of the settings, I believe. They are right. Well, I'll add a new layer for AFLM because I want that to be wireframe. That's it. And here it should be AFLM. And place new element with line. I'll place it here like that. And then I'll see the more settings. I'll just place these elevations in current floor and the planks they may go to Aki cut the layer I, I think that's okay and create planks so we have uh, we have the planks here this kind of element and uh, let's see that in 3d show everything here it must be behind our house or where can it be in Okay, I'll just check in 3D. Well, it was somewhere, didn't it know where. So uh, we have this kind of uh, wall. And we wanted to have a, a vertical piece here supporting. And always with elements, you should uh, drag a copy of the existing one so that the new one will be part of the element. So drag a copy and I'll place it just here and then what I need to do is uh, I need to rotate this by 90 degrees so I'll navigate to the floor plan with this piece and then I'll rotate this uh, here so for example like this and then let's go back to the element drawing and now, now I can stretch this let's say if the it was uh, if this is okay we can make this uh, the corner touch this bottom and this other other corner will be just 
below the top beam. And now we need to adjust this uh, to these side pieces. So I'll use plank tools and adjust to side. Here I will get, uh, I will do only this uh, first and lower end first. So this is my operator, this is my target piece. And le let's actually make it a bit more complicated so that we will need two cuts here and the same here at the top. Okay, so uh, this okay for the first cut and then yes, downward extrusion and let's see what happens. Uh, that's good. And then we want to adjust it to this piece. So get operators and then pick the target piece. And here we don't want to remove the old ones, but we want to add a new new cut. So with this angle dot extend is a good option here. Okay, so now we have two cuts here, and then uh, let's do the same here. So this operator, this is our piece to cut. And let's let's try if we can do this at once. So I'll select these two, uh, not, not like that. Uh, sorry, I need to jump to the element drawing. Uh, I wanted to take these two as my operator, so I should click here. Okay, and then I think they, it should be like this, and then we want to take anything going above these pieces away. Yes, you can do it with one with one operation. But then uh, let's see all this in 3D. Okay, there we are. Uh, we need to add some some grooves to these pieces. So again, I'll add I'll use this extended tool palette to be able to edit. This. We already they have grooves uh, at the top for, for this uh, top beam. So this will be our females and then this is going to be our uh, cutting piece. And in this case I believe it is a good idea to put let's say two millimeters to top and bottom. Uh, with wood it's a good idea to have some oversize. So we will get a uh, nice cut here. And if you wanted to have a bit different, it is actually it is this having three links. Uh, I know some CNC machines is able to do only uh, straight grooves, so you have an option to make this this kind of cuts also. But you have Hundegger, there is no need to do that. That uh, it is able to do these angled grooves, so this okay. And uh, let's see, I think that was. All the cases I thought here would be, and where is my, where is the house? Okay, there it is, and now it's even in 3D. Any other places here? Well, uh, how to place this kind of piece. Um, uh, there is uh, one option is uh, with plank tools, I'll close the element tools, is uh, to pick a drawing plane uh, by clicking it in 3D. So pick this one, or yeah, well, I, I will pick from here. And now it will be a bit difficult for me to guess uh, where I should be adding this. So here I have a couple of these. Uh, it is easiest to do in 2D. So I believe they, they are these pieces. So now I have a drawing plane on, which is visible here on the top of the tool palette. And then all these levels and tilt angles, they are relative to the drawing plane. So I need to set uh, select this top left as my anchor point and the level will be zero, and this is my... Let's put some bigger, so we can see the result better. So 200 millimeters times 300. And then here, I don't have any hotspot, so this is going to be uh, estimation. So I'll lock the Y here, and then I'll draw... I'll draw it a long one, so it comes all the way here. And let's see that in 3D. So this is the new piece we got uh, following the drawing plane.
a very easy to do in floor plan. And after uh, doing all you need with the uh, drawing plane, it is a good idea to reset the drawing plane. So I'll do it from here. So I think that's uh, all for now. Uh, so thank you, and uh, there will be another video if you need more help.